Yes, hello, it's me again. Good day, especially to my grade 9 students. So, I am here to discuss the remaining trigonometric ratios, which are the cosecant, the second, and tangent. So, let's get it on. In order to memorize it easily, we will just be using the mnemonics Cho, Sha, Kao. Cho stands for cosecant, Sha stands for second, and Kao stands for cotangent. Cosecant theta is equal to hypotenuse over opposite. Second theta is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent. And cotangent theta is equal to adjacent over opposite. Example number one. Since the third side is missing, we are going to solve for the hypotenuse. We have C is equal to 6 squared plus 8 squared is equal to the square root of 36 plus 64. 36 plus 64 is equal to 100 and the square root of 100 is equal to 10. Therefore, the hypotenuse is equal to 10. Considering this given, we have here cosecant theta, which is cho. So we have the hypotenuse, which is equal to 10, and the opposite, which is equal to 6. Since 10 over 6 is divisible by 2 over 2, we have here the cosecant, cosecant theta, which is equal to 5 over 3. The second one is the second theta, which is sha hypotenuse over adjacent. So we have second theta is equal to 10 over 8. And since this is divisible by 2 over 2, second theta is equal to 5 over 4. And the last one is the cotangent theta, which is cow adjacent over the opposite side. So we have the cotangent theta which is equal to 8 over 6. And since this is divisible by 2 over 2, cotangent theta is equal to 4 over 3. Example number 2. We have the adjacent side, which is equal to 4, and the hypotenuse, which is equal to 9. We are going to look at the opposite side. So we have V is equal to 9 squared minus 4 squared. 9 squared is equal to 81 and 4 squared is equal to 16. 81 minus 16 is equal to 65. And since 65 is not a perfect square number, square root of 65 is the length of the opposite side. Considering this example, cosecant theta is equal to cho, hypotenuse over the opposite side. So we have cosecant theta which is equal to 9 over square root of 65. Since the denominator still has the square root symbol, we are going to rationalize it. So we have 9 times the square root of 65 is equal to 9 square root of 65. Square root of 65 times square root of 65 is 65. So cosecant theta is 9 square root of 65 over 65. Second theta is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent. So we have here second theta which is equal to 9 over 4. Cotangent theta is adjacent over opposite. So we have here cotangent theta is equal to 4 over square root of 65. Again, we need to rationalize it by multiplying it by square root of 65 over square root of 65. Therefore, cotangent theta is equal to 4 square root of 65 over 65. Okay, that's it. That ends our video tutorial about trigonometric ratios. Again, this is Mr. Mark Chisil P. Blanquisco. I hope you learned a lot from me. Until our next video tutorial about trigonometric ratios. Bye!